Hello everyone, I'm just spinning very slowly in a circle. Welcome to Paris. What game are you playing, Hannah? I'm playing Assassin's Creed Unity. Kim's just like standing here. Don't know if you can hear. I'm, I'm, I'm off actually, I just came You're to wish you luck. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hello everyone. Okay, so. Are we ready for some assassinations? <laughs> she says. Oh lord, right. How do I get down? That's the big question. There it is. So this is Arno. And he is a lovely French dude. Um, I'm not going to tell you anything. As I said, I'm not. it's not going to be spoilery. This is not a spoilery playthrough. We're not going to do anything with it. We're just going to amble around the city, do a few missions that, again, aren't spoilery. They're just side missions. And we're going to check some stuff out. So yeah, we're in France. It's quite nice. We've got some lovely, lovely sights like this place. And uh, the revolution is, is slowly kicking off. So if I just pop to, not that bit, this bit. Um, I've had about an hour to get into this game. So bear with me if it goes a bit wrong. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start with, let's see if I can find the murder mystery. So this is uh, one of the side quests that you can do. We're going to go meet Eugene and see if we can solve a crime, which, um, you know, my, you know, my crime solving skills, it might be fine. It might not be. So we're going to go over here. And yeah, I've currently got equipped. So you can see I've not got a sword. I've got a war hammer. That's right, a war hammer. Hello, Xylus. Everyone say hi, Xylus, the French man. Because, you know, he's French. In fact, maybe, maybe Xylus can confirm for us whether um, Paris is, is true to this nowadays, or whether there's some changes. Oh, look. So uh, here's a crowd, guys. So these are all people. I can go down there and push them around if I want. I'm not going to... I've just seen someone say, can you leap of faith off Notre Dame? Um, no, probably, but I, I don't trust myself yet. Um, but as you can see here, we've got some very disillusioned citizens. So we're going to go over here into the sort of... It's slowly going a little bit downhill, as you can see. I've been wandering around. You can see over there, there's some really nice looking houses. But as the, um, as, as the riots go on, they slowly become evacuated. And there's some nice little tidbits of history that sort of show how, you know, people have taken over these places and they're renovating them and turning them into things like cafes. You can buy out some nice cafes if you want. Um, and get some money out of that. So, they're pretty cool. Um, there's some nice stalls here. There's, I'm not sure what this is over here. Let's go see. Let's go see. It's a, oh, it's a riddle. We'll come back to that maybe, maybe. Some of the riddles, that looks quite difficult and I haven't actually really started the game. So it's probably better that I do like this one, which is a nice, easy one. Get in there! That's three times this month. I gotta eat. You gotta feed me. Works out. Shut it. What do you want? A lot of crime going on. Need help? I've got things well under control. Thank you very much. What about all the murders you never solve? I said shut it, Vidoc. Think about it. He solves them, you get the credit. Tell you what, solve a murder, I'll give you a weapon out of the bin. Out of the bin? Meanwhile, I have more important things to do. Out of the bin? I don't think I want a weapon out of the bin. Wait. I know the streets. I can help you out. Why would you? 
Because that stinking stupid pig of a police minister doesn't have the stinking stupid sense to do anything that might give even a grifter like me hope that someday, someday, this city might not be a shitty place to live. And because I'm bored out my bloody mind! Oh, for the love of God, Vidox, shush! Good. Those of you who are saying, where are the French accents? I'm pretty sure the Animus translates. That's how we, they sort of get around, much like the TARDIS. I think the, uh, yeah, it translates into your your local country of, and language of choice. Um, so there you go. Also, actually, I was looking this up in France at the time. There wasn't like a universal language anyway. So this would have been very hard to create. Something kind of creepy about monks. Closed up like that in a big building. Sometimes that's hard on people. Better check out the monastery here on the island, though. What? What monastery? Oh, no. Not creepy monks again. I don't like creepy monks. So we want me to go over here. Oh, hang on. Not out the door. Door. We can get yeah. the door. Oh, sorry, sir. Pfft. I don't care. Just push men over. So we're going... Oh Lord, let's just let's just gently amble through here, otherwise I'm gonna cause a small crash. <laughs> just push everyone over. So you can see the uh, the stealth is a little bit more like there's a clear circle, which is actually really handy because they the guards will come and search for you in crowds. Oh hello! Hey, 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 hey! Oh oh no, no 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 no! I went at that at the wrong angle. Come back here! So this is a dynamic event. So these pop up randomly and you can choose to use them whenever you want. Good job, mate. Good job just tripping up over your own foot. Come here. No, you come here. You come here. You come here. Yes, 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 yes. I try not to tackle a random civilian. Come here. Come here. Come here. No. Come on. No. There we go. Got you. Right. Give me your stuff. Give me the stuff. There we go. So, uh... I just completed five of five crowd events. So there you go. I got something awesome out of that. I got 500 leaves. And I think you can use those to buy more swag, which I'll show you in a minute. When we've gone over here. He's a bit more he's a bit more swirly when he sort of parkours, if that makes sense. That's the wrong sort of thing. He's very flashy. He does a few twists when he gets up places, which is lots and lots of uh, lots and lots of fun. When he'll occasionally like he'll go in through an open window and he'll just twirl. People want the volume up in the game? Are you happy? Are you good? Also those of you asking where Kim is, she's going home because she's got stuff to do. Whereas I haven't. Oh, oh, oh. Pfft. Good lord. That was a bit risky. Volume's good. I think. Oh, good. Everyone else is good. So, one person, deal with it. Yes, I can clearly hear the screaming, <laughs> says Jane. Oh, good. So I have got I have got Sam, our audio guy, on hand. In case stuff does hit the fan. So I'm sure it will all be fine. Don't worry. We're all good. Right. We're gonna solve a murder. Are you are you ready for this? Try and not Oh that man's oh that man's juicing wine. He's crushing grapes with his feet. I've done that. It's not a very nice business. Also, there's another dynamic event there, but it can wait. It can wait. Uh, right. So. Ah, the stairs. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, gold. There has been a murder. Oh, dear. That's a small bother. Um, is that? Ah, there we go. Right. Examine. So it's a dead monk, Friar Jean, Jean, not Jean, uh, strangled with a strand of rosary beads. He appears to have fallen from his chair whilst writing at his desk. You are entering an investigation zone. Oh, oh, clues. Hello. 
This looks fun. Dear Lord, Friars Stanislas, Bernard, and even the respected Friar Benoit, and then Friar Jean, all dead. It passeth all understanding. Three monks survive, praise God, but I dare not think. Is it possible that the murderer is one of them? Bah, ridiculous. Which of them would be capable of such an atrocity? So, this is Eagle Vision. We've got a man downstairs. We'll talk to him in a minute. Um, we've got this man. Oh. Oh, there's... Oh, sorry, there's... Oh, God, he's dead as well. An older monk lying dead in his bed. His, fi his features are sallow and his face is ashen grey. Uh, oh, dear. So it isn't just the one body. It's quite a few bodies. I thought he meant over time. I didn't mean he meant, like, now. Because um, he's also dead. He's... He would also be probably say he was sallow. Yep, he's sallow. What's the? Hang on, hang on. I'm treading on vital evidence here. I think. No, nope. that's safe. Ah, hang on. What's in the box? Of that. Oh no, I did see it then. I pinged. Personal effects. Case file entry. Please go away. Thank you. There we go. Uh, at the bottom of the chest, a single page torn from a book. The seven branches will be reduced to three. The elder one surprised by death. The two seduced to fratricide. So, murdering each other if they're brothers. Or killing their brothers. Uh, and the conspirators will die as they sleep. Uh, Nostradamus. Well, that's, that's not very comforting. The, in that. I'm sure there is. Um, have we missed anything else up here? I like this, though, because this is... Um, this is taking advantage of Eagle Vision a lot more, and I, I, I quite like solving a crime. More prophecies of Nostradamus. Oh dear. Why are we, why, why are we listening to that? That's a bad idea, surely. This man down here, I bet it's you. So much happened. First the death of the elder monks. Friar Jean served them wine, and they immediately became very tired. They went to bed and couldn't be roused. I ran to the doctor. When I came back, what did I find? They were all dead. And there's Friar Jean strangled at his desk. Well, sorry. I'm sure we'll solve the crime for you and it will be fine. Oh, there's stuff out here as well. Hang on, I'm just going to check the room. No, I think we're good. Accuse? Oh, I'll come back to you. Don't. Don't, don't go anywhere, yeah? Stay there. <laughs> Just accuse any old person. That's amazing. So I could actually properly screw this up, I guess, if I wanted to. A fire he was. A fire, here in the vineyard. That fire. Well, I yelled at him to get on out of there, and he ran off. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll go back upstairs. Don't worry, everyone. Sorry, sorry, madam. Sorry I'm jumping on your... Oh, you're a man. Sorry. So your hat. Oh. I'm jumping on the fire as well now. There we go. Partially burnt diary. Poisoned the cask of wine, but I served it. If he knew what I was about to confess, he would not hesitate to murder me himself. I curse the day the predictions of Nostradamus ever came into Honore's possession. He's quite mad, and he has driven me to madness, but I am. Right. So, it's someone... And this is why I need Kim. This is why I need Kim here. Kim's my, like, partner in crime on solving murders. I mean, it, it probably is you. Because, I mean, you're the only one who's still alive. But, you know, just, just in case, let's have a little amble upstairs and see. Oh, yes, there was something upstairs. Well spotted, everyone. There. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. There we go. Let's open it and see. There we are. Clenched in the monk's dead fist is a crumpled piece of paper. Apparently torn from a diary, it reads, Guilty. I have poisoned them. He claimed it was God's will that I do so because of the prediction, but I cannot escape my guilt. 
I am a murderer. I must confess everything right this minute before... And then it died. Oh, good. So, he's poisoned them. It's also got all these other clues. Unable to identify Monk. Very helpful. Um, three others remain alive. Ooh, I've only found one, I think. Someone's just been reading prophecies. That's the problem. Is there... Oh, hello! Hello! There's a monk over here. Get out of cover. Silly. Silly thing. There's a man over here. What is he doing? What are you doing? Over here. By these graves. On your own. Very suspicious. I am very worried about Friar Honoré. He and Friar Jean were quite close. I fear Jean's murder has affected Honoré's sanity. Right. So you've got a statement. The murder's affected... What was the other one about? Who do we think it is? <laughs> <laughs> so all these people have died. We have... Um, Honore's been clay. I, I'd imagine it probably is Honore because uh, this is a starting one. I can read this. Everyone thinks it's right. Should we go and accuse him? So it could be anywhere here. I think I've probably checked everything, but let's go right to the corners. In fact, I've not even gone through here. So actually, you're right. In fact, look, there's a man here. What are you playing at, mate? God's will cannot be understood by mortal man. We search and pray and do the best we can. Small hints can be discerned, say, in the writings of prophets. I believe Nostradamus is one. Oh, it's you. It's bloody you, isn't it? It is him. Are we all, I think we all think it. I mean, everyone in the chat thinks it is. And uh, he's the only one who hasn't actually given a proper statement. So, uh, are, we, are, we, are we happy? Shall I accuse him? <laughs> Shall I accuse him? Kill him, someone says. I can't kill him. If I kill him, I fail. I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail my first... They won't ask me back again. Just kill him. No. Point the thing. Okay, we're going to accuse him. So do I just speak to him again? God's will cannot be understood by more... Ah, hold. We search and pray Head by him. Yeah, all right. Okay, Honore, you are clearly... Something's up. The conspirators were foretold to die in their sleep. Jean was victim of a fratricide. Is it murder to fulfil a prophecy? Yes. It is. Also, I think that was a, an admittance of guilt. So, good job. Good job, everyone.